brain to shit. Oh shit. I hope not. I don't want to be. All right, we're live. <laughs> All right, hell yeah. Welcome to the Throw It Back Welcome. podcast. Right now, start, this is what is episode seven? Episode seven, hell yeah. yeah. Throw it back. Episode seven of Movies and Moss. I'm your host, Big Monster Moss, with my co host. I'm here with Throw It Back Greg. <laughs> uh, we're going back to nicknames of Greg. Um, no, I think that's no, done. No. We, we Let's not, kill that. His that name is yet. Greg. That's it. It's yeah, Greg. Yeah, yeah. I, think I'm, I think I'm going to settle there for a while. Producer ODM over here running shit. Shout out yeah. to ODM right here. <laughs> give me some, give your intro. You got you to say the way you do it on the podcast. daddy's favorite rapper, your mom's favorite DJ, and your, uh, I don't know, I need a movie nickname. See, now we're over to nicknames oh, of myself. Shit. Oh, man. All right. Oh, oh, he's the guy ODMG, that OMG, one dope movie goer. There, there you go. There, there you go. There you go. Right off. Speaking of movie goers. Bingo. Did, Excuse me? <laughs> did you go you to, uh, you said you went to watch Kong, right? I did watch Kong. What'd you think? And Godzilla together. What'd you think? Literally, they wait, were together. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just tell you, screw the movie. Like, I just love the theater I went to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, talk comfy. about an epiphany that I had. Like, I just never, I haven't been in the movie since, like, the 90s. Oh, shit. And I went to the theater. <laughs> He's and... not been bootlegging since the bro, 2000s. Bro, bro. <laughs> Hey, no, he, yo, you, you're not lying, dog. Yeah. When I used to live with him, because there was a point where I lived that I was a roommate of his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we used to bootleg everything. We never went oh, to the that's movies. Crazy. Y'all never had the theater experience at the 2010s. Why? He had a big ass. They got lounges. We had, they got better food. Like, we had all crazy. that. It's a big plasma yeah. TV. Yeah. Oh, Not shit. flat screen. The plasma TV. And we had a Man. kitchen to cook fresh because it was a wide yeah. open living room. So well, okay, yeah. Yeah. I could cook from the kitchen okay. and see the TV. Never yeah, y'all got your own projector and shit. No, oh, I mean no. it wasn't that old school. All right. No, nah, but it was cool. No, nah, but let me tell you, man. I guys, <laughs> sorry, it's just like no, ODM just came no, out of nowhere fun, out of his cool. rock, and I discovered reclined seats. You know, with the little oh, yeah, mechanicals, yeah, yeah. right? I was, I was hitting switches. <laughs> yeah, I was doing anything and everything just to get up out hey. that motherfucker, get back up on and hit those switches, go get popcorn. I was yeah. like, son, I went to the like to the concession stand like three or four times. <laughs> how'd you How'd you feel knowing that there's alcohol now at the movie theaters? Oh. They got- Fire! Beer, I, I, I didn't feel right drinking because we want my son's friend and, and, and his dad, and he no, wasn't drinking. When you get a three-hour movie, that's the time to do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was dope though. You should, hey man, shot, shot. I got you. No, I'm yeah. saying no, but once you hit that recliner after you had a good meal and you trying to watch, oh, you out, bro? No, I couldn't do that. I was waiting for that motherfucker to vibrate next. Damn. But uh, no, it was a good time. Here. It was a great movie. I got my sleep. Yeah. I made sure we went at eleven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Okay, so you stayed awake. So I was up. Uh, yeah, have my, my bucket of popcorn, you know. Yeah. Uh, got a one free fi- refill for nice. free, but uh, it was dope, man. I mean, you know, Godzilla, uh, Kong, uh, when they got together and the whole thing, and then that that white replica of Godzilla thing oh, came Shimu. out. Was, was it me or that was the biggest? What's what's the name? It was Shimu, 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 Shimu yeah, whatever. Yeah. So that was the biggest creature of the whole movie, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. In, in the lore of that movie, that's like the that's technically the original Titan. Yeah. Yeah. So like you notice be, when he finally got to Brazil, how it was way bigger than everything. Like it's yeah, it's fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, awesome, crazy. <laughs> but that was dope. And then that that long arm motherfucker that came out yeah. like when Scar King. To, yeah, Scar King. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was pretty interesting yeah. looking. But yeah, we had a good time. Man. I thought the fighting sequences were dope in that. Like I said, check out the last episode so you can check out the, uh, the review yeah, on yeah, that yeah. one. Um, it was dope though. Uh, but moving on to this week, you know, we dropped, uh, we had a, a few big surprises as far as... Uh, surprise, motherfucker. Right? That's literally what it was. Uh, well, it wasn't a surprise. They did tell us last week when they dropped the poster, the trailer was dropping on the ninth. Yeah. But then they did that shit I hate. What? They drop a teaser for the teaser? No, nah, they, no, they did it way worse this time. <laughs> At fucking, what was it, like 9 or 10 a.m. yesterday? They was like, guess what, y'all? This is the teaser for the teaser trailer <laughs> for the Joker. <laughs> A 30 second te- Why didn't you just drop the fucking teaser right? What are you doing? They're like, tonight at 6 30. Because they wanted to tease you a little bit for you, tease you smooth. They, they said, today, just a tip. <laughs> That's Later on, we're going all in. It's like, wait, wait, what? Yeah. This shit is crazy. So, yeah, so yeah, like we're talking about, they dropped the teaser trailer for Joker 2. You got to say that because I can't, I'm not uh, even going to attempt Oh, this. shit. All right. Joker 2, fo- was it Folly, Folly Ado? Folly Ado. Folly Auto. Yeah. Folly Auto. Folly Auto. 2 again. Sorry. Two Joker, two Furious. Yeah, two Joker, two Furious. <laughs> and this was interesting because it's going to be, it's, it's um oh, what's his name again? Um, Todd Phillips. Ha- Queen Phillips. Well, no, oh, you're talking about well, yeah. Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, Joaquin yeah, yeah, Phoenix. Yeah. And uh, Todd Phillips is directing it, right? He's back again. And then we have Gaga coming in to Hell play yeah. uh, fucking 
Oh, shit. Harley Quinn. Yes, Harley yeah. Quinn. I don't know How you forget name. Harley Quinn? I don't know why her name is going on. He said Gaga is but, fucking herself. But. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, break it down real quick because you were telling me some notes, some things that you felt that I, I kind of knew but didn't know. Um, oh, you were saying that it was, it's, it's going to be a musical. Yes, Joker 2 is a musical. I don't know if anyone, well, the people that are like been following this movie for a while have known that. Yeah. This is a musical. This won't be a straightforward drama this this is a musical so uh, just a heads up before anyone goes into this movie like Wonk, unlike Wonka like they're not promoting it as what it is but that that's exactly what this movie is now looking at the trailer now so now that you've explained that to me and then looking at the trailer dude like it's pretty obvious that that there's going to be some elements where we're going to have to determine as the viewer whether what we're watching is reality or not yeah you know yeah because and that's that's kind of like the thing but that was kind of one of the things that uh, people figured out about the first movie, mm-hmm. especially by the time it ended. So I feel like this movie is going to be more of a play on that. But now we have two characters that are going to be playing off that mode. So um, it's going to be very interesting. Um, I'm very excited about mainly uh, Lady Gaga, how she's going to perform in this movie. Yeah. Um, I love her. So she looks great. Um, what else did you like about the trailer? I teaser, mean, I guess. so I like so because uh, one thing I saw a while back and it was it was, yeah, uh, yeah. It was released where they showed someone was filming what looked to be like three versions of Joaquin Phoenix running through the streets of New York. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I got to see that kind of that scene play out on here. So I'm really interested to see how they're going to play that. You know, mm-hmm. is it going to be like, is it really him just going crazy? And you've seen all these three D versions of him. Yeah. Yeah. You see this version of him. Yeah. That's one of the versions see chasing him. And then you see the version that looks like him that ended in the last Joker yeah. movie. And then you see that version. The version is dressed up. That, yeah. That, you know, there. And that's another version you see. Look, there it is. You know, there's ah, the three Jokers. No, so um, it's I, like, think, I think this movie is going to be playing a lot with uh, some form of duality. Like, we're going to see one version of one thing, but the same version play out another way. Yeah. Like an alternate reality, or it could be just the same reality just happening at different moments. I don't know. This movie's going to be gonna, on my mind It's going to be mind fuck. Question is, is Lady Gaga gonna have a song called Joker Face? Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Lady, will Lady Gaga have a song right. called Joker Face? Probably. <laughs> Joker, Joker, Joker Face. Ah. <laughs> I mean, depends on what happens in the movie. We don't know, right? By the way, this is my favorite shot in the whole trailer. This yes. shit right here. This is the way this trailer ends on this scene is amazing. I, I'll, I'll say this: just like the first one, this movie looks beautiful. Yes. Like shot brilliantly. It's going to be so many shots where you can just take a screenshot, and it, it just works at any moment. Yeah. This yeah, movie is going to be. The cinematography looks fucking incredible. This movie is definitely going to be dope, dude. Um, yeah. Let me see. I'm trying to bring up the the uh, synopsis again. Um, cause, you know, Joker's still crazy. Right? Joker's still crazy. That's pretty <laughs> that, much what it is. Yo, that's yes. it. You want to murder about? someone? Joker is still crazy, yo. I don't know. If, is there a synopsis that dropped I yet? Please. Let me see. Like, so, no, <laughs> it just says so storyline for the synopsis says storyline sequel to the film Joker from 2019. Yeah, that's I don't, all I don't we know. know. I don't think I don't think they have this out yet. So um, we're not we're not getting anything because we still have a teaser. Yet. So I, all we got is Joker and Harley Quinn are going to uh, come together and probably do some wild shit. Yeah, that's the synopsis, but it's gonna look beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna look dope. <laughs> I can't wait for this shit. Oh, it's gonna look dope, man. Oh, so. Yeah. Moving on to our next one. Uh, so we both, un- unfortunately, this week we didn't watch it together. Um, yeah, I we, overslept. We, we could have watched it holding hands. No, we couldn't watch no, it holding hands. So shared a drink. We had to. We had to basically. He oh, went bitch. to go watch it. Uh, he went to go watch Monkey Man, and I went to go watch Monkey Man later that night because I had, I overslept. I ended up yeah. going to work. Um, had to go to work a little bit earlier, so I went after work, checked it out. He fucking bailed on me, y'all. That's what he's trying to say. I'm sorry, he Greg. Fucking did. I'm sorry, dude. That's crazy. It's my bad. I was I at the theater al- alone. Well, we had a, l- a late night. Cold shit. We had a late night, um, and I'll tell you why, because I want you guys to go check out the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go check out the Blockout podcast, because uh, uh, pretty soon, I think probably the next, yeah. sometime in the next two episodes, we we're going to well, we're gonna review Mi Vida Loca, and... Um, I mentioned the blockout because last uh, on the last episode of the blockout they had uh, the cast of maybe the lookout here, yeah. um, so I want you guys to kind of check it out, get a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Like we had One Stranger. Fact, I have the DVD at home. Do you? Yes. Dope. That's so yeah. dope. Well, I didn't buy it. It's my wife's. But oh, still. Dope. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Oh man, I, I should have told you so you could have brought your wife. She would have probably been happy to meet some yeah. of the cast. Yeah. Because we had we had Shadow, which was uh, Ernesto's brother. Yeah. Um, and then we had uh, Stranger, which was one of the the females, uh, one of the girls that was in the uh, in the in the clica. Yeah. And then we had um, 
Oh, what was the other one? Baby doll? Yeah, baby oh, doll. Okay. So baby doll was the one who she's the one that gives a dedication to El Duran uh and and that dance scene where okay, okay. where uh, just before El Duran gets shot. Which by yeah. the way, when they were here uh, <laughs> on the on the behind the scenes stuff, while they were here we kinda sat down and watched some clips together with them. Oh for real? And I was tripping out. I was I, I I'm sitting here and I realized like, yo, this has gotta be funny as shit because <laughs> we're sitting here watching the clip where El Duran gets clapped he gets clapped yeah, and yeah. The girls, there's a dramatic moment going on outside. The girls are crying. The girls are consoling their best friend. Yeah. But in the background is the guys that just saw it. El Dorado jumping into a truck, running. Hey, come on, fool, let's go. Hey, let's go. Come on, dog, we got to run. We got to run. And they're just <laughs> jumping into a truck, backing up as this girl is sitting there crying, not realizing the dude she had a crest on just died. Yeah. But, yeah, check it out. Check out the last episode of The Blackout. Crystal and O had a, did a really good job interviewing them. That's what's up. <clears throat> They gave a lot of uh, behind the scenes stuff, um, and I, you know, kind of wish I, I was. I wanted to sit down with them for like five minutes, but by then, one, I was probably going to ask them a lot of questions that O had just asked them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two, I, knowing me, I only wanted to do five minutes, but knowing me, I probably would have pushed it. Yeah, you know, like I like 45. to talk. Yeah, and O would have yeah. probably been sitting there looking at me like, "What the fuck, bro? Yeah, how do y'all feel about some hikes today?" Yeah, and oh. then plus, we, we <laughs> ended up getting into like a real live. Um, uh, reaction video to the movie. Yeah, we sat here. Yes. Oh, she that's was fire. Uh, Veronica was giving us play by play as we were going through the whole movie. So that oh, was like a half hard. hour. Of that yeah. I was like, you need to come back and we need to re- like redo this for real, for real. Yeah. 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 So, like, do the whole so I think that. I think yeah. that would be dope for us to do it with her too. I'm gonna see yeah. if I can get them to. Come. I'm gonna reach out to Arthur. Yeah, yeah. And see if he'd be down and get get them to come back. And the three of us, you know, it'll be you know whoever they bring, yeah. and then you and me will sit down. We'll put on the movie. It reminded yeah. me of the director's cut. Remember those? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no. Well, the, the director's, director's commentary there. shit? Yeah. 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 I still listen to those, by the way. Like, yeah. When I can that find them, cool. yeah. those yeah. shits be funny, bro. Like, they, when they just go and break down all the scenes and they just talk about all the bullshit that yeah. happened. Yeah. Like, how someone really got injured. Well, that's, that, and that's, <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. You know, they talk yeah, yeah. about that on the show. No, bro really got shot. We had yeah. to take him to the hospital, but the shot looked great. Right. Like, uh, or Arthur, he said, <laughs> he said that there was there was a scene where he was shooting and he was talking in his scene, and all yeah. of a sudden somebody threw a glass bottle and it cut the back of his leg. Damn, you know, he straight was, up, he was a rival gang member, you know, because <laughs> they thought he was from the hood. Selma Hayek. Oh, Selma, oh yeah, Selma Hayek. Well, the, in the scene that she's in the movie, she was drunk. She I love that for her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah supposedly, hurt. supposedly, <laughs> supposedly, yeah. it's, it's high, bro. so one one of the girls right here said that supposedly she won't she won't never say, but she was like the homie, you know, the homie, and I was like the homie what? She was, she, down? She was like you know the homie will never say either, but he. Uh, wow. Damn. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> he didn't go that far. Nah, Damn. she go. Uh, she she did she did say that the, that uh, it's a possibility her oh, homie might have clapped. Hey man, you know? can you blame him, bro? Uh, no, because I mean, you can forever walk around and be like, "Yo, I clapped to Summer Hike before she was Summer Hike." That's crazy. Hey, edit that out, <laughs> right? But yeah, man. So check out the podcast, the, the podcast episode of that. Uh, but now moving on to Monkey Man, because Monkey Man I thought was dope. Monkey Man, <laughs> it doesn't have a theme song. I just made that up. I know, but you know what? No, yeah. there was a, there was a, what was it? Hey Arnold, Hey Arnold had Monkey Man. So. Feels racist. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the I'm fuck? fucking with you. Oh, hey, shit. Arnold, that monkey man. You. you know they had a ah, kick. Nah, you're right. You're right. Uh, it's, I got that joke because uh, a reviewer I was watching for some more research yeah, yeah. on this says that he was he was disappointed because <laughs> he thought it was the monkey man from Hey Arnold. Did it turn out to be this one? And I was like, that's nah, fucked bro. up. I was like, that's they fucked not up. Bringing that shit into this, <laughs> right? This is a no. deep cut. This is a legit like dope ass. You know, yeah. is it on John Wick's level? I I wouldn't say. I don't know. I would say no, it's close to no, it. No, it's not. No, not even near. <laughs> Just say that straight up. No, we're not no. putting. None of these movies, it's it's John Wick esque, but it, it it actually turned out to be more than I thought it would. Because I thought yeah. this movie was gonna be like, all right, this is why he's gonna revenge, and then for three hours we're just gonna be focused on that. Yeah, or two hours we're gonna be focused on that. But no, um, this movie was uh, it played out a lot differently than I thought. Yeah, uh, a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, yeah. I'm not saying it's a long movie. It's only like two hours. It's, it's an hour and 50 minutes, but uh, it felt longer. It, it had less action than I thought it was going to have. Like, from the trailer, you would think this is about to be a whole ass. That's what I thought. Tale. He's going to be beating ass throughout the whole movie. But, like, no, it's pure character development. A lot of focus on um, the culture, the Indian culture. Yeah. Um, a lot of focus on uh, dealing with your past and, like, letting go of, like, past traumas and then moving forward. Yeah. Now, no. could have all been, could a lot of it have been cut out? Absolutely. But... When it gets to the action, when it gets to the fights, 
it's it's great. Like they, it's pretty much up to standard as to what we're used to these days. With spit, as far as like John Wick and the Raid, like it's pretty much on par with those. But it's also I don't think it's. I mean, it, it's kind of hinted at in the trailer. This movie is violent as fuck, like bloody. There yeah, was there were scenes. I can where, agree to that. There were scenes where I literally I I don't do this too much because I love horror. I cringed at some of these scenes. I was like, oh shit! Like an yeah. axe through the face. We're talking about uh, one of the probably one of the hardest like knife to throat scenes I've ever seen, <laughs> but it was funny the way he, the way they did it was fire. I yeah. love it, but still it was like oh shit. Nah, man. I mean, and I agree with you. A lot of that I agree with. You know that. Yeah. I mean, it was when it was violent. It was violent. Yeah, they took and, it there. They went crazy. Yeah, and, it was a horror movie at some points. <laughs> and I mean, at the same time though, like for being Patel's, you know, debut uh, as his director. Oh yeah, yeah. Like man. And oh. then hearing hearing the behind the scenes stuff, like he got hurt. Yeah, like he said, he had to change his choreography to really focus on him fighting with one side because his he was injured. I forgot what he injured. His hand. His hand. He I broke think his hand at one point. His legs. Like yep. he, he got fucked up. Yeah, he got fucked up pretty bad. And I mean, yeah. uh, as you can see from the trailers playing behind us, like you can see, like yeah, the dude, like gosh, I mean, fuck, dude. Yeah, but the trailer I, makes you feel like it's gonna be John. John Wickisk, but it's it, yeah, you're yeah. right. Like it's not a hundred percent to that. Like it's not continuous fighting. There's storyline to it. Yeah, but it's the story, not bad. Like, the storyline yeah. kind of drags itself. In yeah, my yeah. opinion, I did it. I feel, I do agree with a lot of the reviewers who I saw afterwards. It was it was that it took a long time to tell us why he was doing what he was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of that could have happened a lot sooner. You know, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I think I don't think we even find out why how he became Monkey Man until almost like the last like what twenty thirty minutes of the movie. Yeah, you well, know? it's it was like probably the last forty five ish, but yeah, it was see. more like they could have. I mean, if this they could have cut a lot of it out. Yeah, I, I'll say that. Like a lot of the story aspects could have been cut down a little bit. The that all that around that one girl that they were focusing on that could have been cut out because she didn't really play a huge role in this movie at all. Yeah. Um, the dog stuff, cool. Could have cut that out. Like it's, it's a lot of stuff in here that could have been cut. But again, this is Death Patel's first movie, and for his first film, I have to say this: like he is showing a lot of potential yeah, as far man. as filming action sequences. Mm-hmm. He seems to have a great idea as to where he wants to go. So I'm very interested to see what his future movies look like. Because remember, this movie, he he, I think he used his own money to put yeah. it together. He filmed in his own culture. Netflix is supposed to put this out. And then um, Jordan Peele saw the potential, bought it from Netflix, yep. and then decided to distribute it with uh, Universal through his Monkey Paw Productions company. The movie, oh, I, we got to talk about the box office. This movie made ten million dollars. Yep. That's exactly what I think Jordan Peele bought it for. Yeah. So it made its prop. They made the money back. Now from here, everything else is profit. So whatever it does from here on out, whatever streaming service it, it, it hit. It'll, it, it should be okay. Yeah, like, and, this and, is actually a very good success film. And it sounds like it's doing, in theaters, it's doing very well. It's getting a lot of good reactions from yeah, the yeah, fans. Yeah. But again, reviewers and, and, and critics are saying another thing, but, you know, I, I say fuck what they have to say. They're not always right. I mean, honestly, most know. of the ones I saw uh, thought it was cool. Like, they Well, it wasn't. It. So, so, because... When I start to see a lot of positive, I go straight to what I can find that's negative. And that's why yeah. I, when, when, when I started finding the negatives, it's all the same shit. It's not, yeah. It's not like one person said, oh, it's negative because of this. Another person yeah, yeah, said yeah. it was negative because of that. They all said the same thing. It was the pacing. It was some things could have happened sooner. It felt yeah. longer than it really was. You know, but there was one guy that was particular that he didn't like the way they portrayed a certain, a certain part of the culture. And, you know, yeah. but I went deeper into it and it turned out that like how they portrayed them is actually pretty accurate. It wasn't, yeah, yeah, it yeah. wasn't, there was, they didn't step away from it. Yeah. And now hearing that, I'm like, oh, that's just that dude trying to act all woke because, or not woke, but he's trying to go against, you know, wokeism and shit yeah, yeah. and and try to, try to be like, oh, oh, you know, they're, they're you know, they're, they put trannies in this because of that, you yeah. know. But I mean, that's kind of why like, I don't really, especially after I watch a movie, I know a lot of people like to go in like watch other reviews to form an opinion. But I like to, now that I have this space and then letterbox, I like to form my own views before I start going into other people's shit. Because at that point you start pulling from them mm. as to like what you would think about the movie. It's like, no, it's better to have your own voice. And some of these people would just be saying shit. Cause either they got paid yeah, or they're supposed to like focus on a narrative for their channels and all this shit. Where it's yeah. like, just say how you feel about the shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like and I, just, I, I, just I, do that. Like, 
I agree. Yeah, yeah, you know, but, and, and 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 you know, for me, it's not that I, I watch them to help form my opinion. It's just I want to no, see. No, 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 don't say that. No, I know, I know. I just, I'm just saying it. I, I do it because I want to see yeah. are other people thinking what I'm thinking, and then you know, if they agree, yeah. then I agree. You know, if I don't, if I don't agree with them, like, I'm like yeah. yeah, yeah. In that aspect, I usually go to a, like a lot of reviewers that I trust. Yeah, that I know won't just say some shit. They'll, they'll, they're gonna break the movie down and focus on the film instead of trying to like go into other narratives. Especially like, especially with like the people that are certain, like a lot of um, Marvel YouTube. Let me get to that later. Uh, they start going from just focusing instead of just focusing on the movie itself, they start going into outside narratives and politics and all this shit. Yep. Instead of just focusing on the art of the film itself, yeah, they do and they move. start doing all this other shit, and it's just it just complicates the whole thing. It gets yeah. all weird, and I'm just here for the fun of film. I yeah. love this shit. So me that's too. Like yeah, and that's why for you know for me. Uh, as far as rating this movie, I could probably give this movie. I told you off screen, yeah. off screen that I was probably doing seven and a half, eight. I'm gonna give it an eight, you know. Cause, yeah, I'm sticking with eight. Because you know what? I, after after that, I still went home um, and looked up a lot more research on the film. Yeah. And then uh, I won't say how, but I also you know was able to watch it again. You're and, a thief. Yeah. You're a bandit. <laughs> So I watched Demon. it again, and yeah, even for a second time, like watch it, rewatchability was yeah. really good. Oh, you know? and that's one thing that I, that heavy is heavy with me is, can I rewatch this movie again? Is oh, it that exciting? No, this movie's fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and this is one even with its pacing, I could still watch it again. You know, but yeah, I might fast forward some scenes just because now I know I can fast. Oh, forward. Oh no, no, this is definitely one of those uh, movies. In the long run, like if you're going back to watch it, you're just gonna go straight to the action scenes. Yeah, yeah, for so. sure. It's not a movie where the narr- the narrative is super strong, but it gets the job done enough for you to like get through it. But like at, once it's at at home on streaming, people are just gonna skip straight to action, or you're just gonna yeah. watch it on YouTube. Yeah, but again, I love and I love the story behind this film too, man. How yeah. he produced it for Netflix. You know, Jordan Peele got a, got a hold of it somehow. Yeah, this this is supposed to come out like. I think last summer it was supposed to come out during COVID, supposedly. Yeah, no, no this was this has been in the works for a long time. Yeah. So, so I'm glad he was able to get it off. Um, I'm glad he's gotten the support and success that he has from it. Uh, Dev Patel, yeah, and um, in particular, um, this movie's gonna be gonna do great. So I think so too. I okay. think so, man. And so again, you're giving it a. I'm giving yeah, I'm it an eight. So a movie must a movie must score for this film is going to be an eight. This is the part Check where it out. Mom explodes on. Screen and it drops a number. <laughs> yeah, <and> all that. <clears throat> huh? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, fi- we're we're finishing up, um, monkey but man. We're finishing up. Yeah. yeah. No, you're good. You're good straight? though. Um. Uh. So <laughs> with that, you know, check it out. Leave us in the comments. Tell us how what you thought about Monkey Man. Did you yeah, see yeah. it? Are you planning on go see it now? If so, oh, you know. One thing I forgot to mention about Monkey Man. What's uh, up? I watched this with D box seats. Oh, how was that? Every. Because you told me about that. Punch, car crash, everything that happened in this movie, I felt that shit. Did you? That seat was rocking. Hey, where do they have the D-Box seats at? Cinemark? Uh, they have them at Cinemark. There's a few other theaters that have them. Um, a lot of people that, uh, if you don't have a theater that has D-Box, there's other theaters that have like 40X. Yeah. Where like everything shakes and it's it's wild. But, That's um, like Mission Grove, Mission Grove near my yeah, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Edwards has it. Um, yeah, I, I, I highly suggest watching this movie if you could. In D box or 40X, I, like the chair was leaning and shit. Yeah. With certain camera angles. Look, it was kind of fire. It made it a lot more fun. Look, yeah. I already paid for the AMC A lister, so I get on I get my three movies a yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. But I think at this point I'm gonna just pay for Cinemark too. So when I go watch the movies with you, I can just go to your go over there. I, I not your house, but go over there I mean, and watch it. I know it. we're gonna go watch it in IMAX, but if we really love Furiosa, we should probably go watch that shit in 40X. Well, we should. We we'll probably <laughs> just, will. Just but, get pissed off. We can't hold our drinks and shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways, now we're gonna move on to talking about just because I wanted to, you know, start start kind of yeah. establishing, you we know. Need, yeah, we need to start establishing. Establishing, uh, you know, our take on Marvel, you know. I love we've, it. We've given, we've <laughs> given our take on, like, some of the trailers that we've seen, like yeah. Deadpool and stuff like that. But, like, we've never really talked about, you know, what we would consider the beginning of, of the current stages of Marvel. Not mm-hmm. Marvel as a whole, because if you were to look at Marvel as a whole, I think the first movie came out like in the seventies or the sixties yeah. with Captain America, um, which we'll we'll bring up a clip in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna I know, be comparing. I to talk about it, yeah, we're gonna uh, compare the Avengers of the seventies with the Avengers of twenty twelve. Those, you know, we don't. Speak I will, about and we will. We but, don't talk about Voldemort, bro. But like, we know, we know that <laughs> with this current uh, this current era of Marvel, we want to talk about it. All started with oh, can you bring up the Iron Man trailer? 
That's the one that it all started with. And the dope part about this yeah. is, I mean, wait, wait, not wait, we got to we got to we got to be like specific here. Which one? This is the start of Marvel Studios. Marvel Studios. The yes, start you're of right. The Marvel phases. Yes, the this start of. Because remember, we still got Spider Man and all that shit. Be like, yeah, yeah, we still had all know, that. But this, the rights, blah, blah, but blah. this, you know one, the story. But that's what I was saying. This started the current era of of, of, oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah. Marvel. You know, because the current era starts with this one. This was Marvel Phase One, the very first film. Yeah. You know, and not only well, that, but also the reintroduction of Robert Downey Jr. Like, yeah. this is which the was a film. huge risk, by the way. I don't know if like you know too much of the backstory, but they were telling him, people were telling um, John oh, Favreau. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, don't bring him he's in. A he's, risk. he's the worst. Glad he's hard him. to work with. He's terrible. Yeah. This and this and that. But, but not just that. His fucking past. But yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. They were so focused on the problems he had before that in John Favreau, all yeah. he saw was Tony motherfucking Stark. And I don't think we but, can see um, anybody no, else Robert in Downey that role. Was just fresh off another movie, like the year before or two years before they cast him in this. Yeah. Zodiac. Yeah. 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 He was great in. Yeah. That, so, was uh, that's, that was the start of his comeback with this solidified him as like, yeah, uh, you're Tony Stark. And yeah. we're, it's going to be that way for a minute. No I one love that they did that. No, like, look, they did such a well, jo- uh, such a good job casting him in this role uh-huh. that even when they talked about possibly bringing someone else in to play another yeah. version of Iron Man, they didn't want to bring another version, another person to play Iron Man. They wanted mm-hmm. to bring him back yeah. to play another version of Iron Man from an alternate universe. Yeah, which is wild because. In in the in the retrospective, like I mean, shit, that's exactly what happened with Logan. Yeah, no, I mean, true, <laughs> but but it's like if you think about it, like this is is they have that, but even you hear the rumors that at one point Tom Cruise was supposed to play this role. Yeah, it was offered that. to yeah, him, yeah. but I'm saying like in uh, other mo- in other movies, on, like in the the Doctor Strange, we got the version of uh, of uh, what's his name from the Fantastic Four. We got oh, Mr. That, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we got a version of Mr. Fantastic that we'd all been asking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the John Krasinski John So <laughs> why not give us the Tom Cruise so we can see what it would look like? That uh, would have been dope, too. Well, I mean, that would be dope, but Tom Cruise has been focusing a lot on his own production company. I don't know if you saw um, yeah. Top Gun 3 just got announced. Like, they're oh, going to start Jesus, that. they're so. going to go for Top Gun 3. Yeah, uh, now, now it's a money maker. he's still busy with Mission Impossible and all that shit. Like, Tom That's, is busy. Yeah. Get out no, of I, I get it, but still, <laughs> yeah, it would have yeah. been cool to see him in there. You know, because, yeah. again, Iron Man is the beginning of all this. And, yeah, yeah. I mean... I mean, dude, look at look at what we look at what we got from this one movie. You're um, talking, you're yeah. talking Thor, Captain America, Hulk. It's the greatest cinematic universe ever. I think it was like one of the. I can't think of any other moment in time where like a universe has been built around films. No, no, not nah, man, not. And this kind of started that whole wave of con- continuity and. Everything, it's yeah, kind of like this. Annoying, but yeah. They set the standard. Kevin yeah, Feige yeah. set the standard for how comic book films should be made. Yeah, and for some fucking reason, DC never well, I, got I it think, right. Well, like, well, I don't think. Well, th- here's the thing about Kevin Feige. If I'm not mistaken, he didn't really take over the reins for the, all this shit until like Phase Three, because he still had. Yeah, remember Marvel had? I forgot the name of it. They had a specific name for the group of heads that were in charge of these movies, and that's yeah. why you didn't get a lot of shit like. Black Panther and all that shit early because they didn't want to take risk. And yeah. then once Kevin Feige took hold of it, now you get Guardians. Yep. Now you're getting all the all the cool weird shit that wasn't supposed to work. Yeah, you made it work. Because in phase phase three is where we got all of that. Yeah, like well, phase two going into three because that's when uh, Kevin Feige took over. Yeah, yeah. So pretty much like so oh oh, oh you bring up the Avengers from 1970. That's so for me. Okay, so I want to look. I know you don't want to <laughs> talk about it, but I want to bring it up because Chill. it's like it's cool. Yeah, we can to see. Start, it's yeah. cool to see. What we what? Well, we know, fucking avoided. I'm glad. I'm glad I was born after that. I, I mean, I won't say we avoided because it, it still got made, but I will say that this I is avoided it. this is what started it all in reality. I mean, this is what they had to compare to. That they were kind of like, oh yeah, no, with 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 all the technology we have today, we're about to make this shit even way like, when better. When we grew up, right? Like and your parents was like, let me show you some fire. They showed you like all the kung fu movies and shit. Yeah, they and this classics, the soul, all that. You know what they didn't show us? None of these. Uh, I don't know about you. My uncle, because my uncle, in my family, garbage. look, in my family, <laughs> most of my uncles were either watching, you know, like mob movies yeah. or fucking, you know, I had that one uncle that was watching shit like this. He was watching the Toxic yeah, Avenger, yeah. you know, the Captain, you know, the, this Avengers one. He was watching, you know, Thor, because even hey, later hey, on, they show the Thor and Hulk, God. you know. This is, one of the, this is one of those occasions where, like, 
older people can't say shit to me. Right and now. it's so funny because you know, like that <laughs> that jump, it's basically reversed. It's like he falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just make it seem. It's like Tenet, but like worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know like saying? 17 times where, but I mean look I almost saw that shit and said nah let me fix that look at this I mean look at this uh, look that's not even metal that is that <laughs> is literally plastic you can see you can see the reflection of that shit <laughs> no but look at this yeah, yeah. look at this scene though this scene is so like the physics of this shit is so terrible like even she's like that's taking a long time boom it even really <laughs> It hit him, but it didn't hit him. You know what I'm saying? And then look at Bruce Banner. Oh my God! Like, anyway, hold on. Before, look, I'm not gonna shit. Okay. No, we're not gonna shit on this because look, because Adam, I fuck with Lou Ferrigno. Look at the like, at, <laughs> at that time. At that time, for all yeah. of the all of the shit that existed, I think that Hulk was probably the better version Hulk of the was character. Like, Hulk was the, probably the only thing that really worked. Yes, at that moment in time. Yes, for, for like, all, for it worked, members, yeah. and that's why it was so successful. But like. Look at Thor. Thor looked like he could be an extra in uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Thor looked like a, they made Thor look like a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. They did. Look at this shit. <laughs> he, <laughs> oh god, this looks terrible. Oh, oh man. But continue. You know, so you have this. I can't believe you brought this into this. How dare you? Hey man, <laughs> we're, 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 we're we are be, supposed to be speaking good things about look, Marvel. We are. We are real <laughs> Marvel fans. You know, we are real yeah, because yeah, we yeah. have to acknowledge. Like, hold on, it's not even gonna get to worse. I want you to see what Iron Man. Once looked like no, in this. We don't talk about yes, because you need to you compare. Probably have pajamas on. They probably fast forward a little Jason bit. Oh, go yeah, go right there. Nah, right, bro. right there, nah, right there. Put the, look at this bullshit. Look at this. This is the uh, original version of Iron Man that they were trying to create, dude. Which uh, is based on Mark One. That's the Mark One suit. This is why it failed. This is definitely why it failed. This is why it, Hollywood was like, "Get this shit out of here. We never want to see none of this again." Yes, this is definitely this is why shit. it failed. And then. Yo, I mean, look at this. Look, look at this. Iron Man is basically his suit is basically melting the fence, you know, so he can go dog. into <laughs> <It's> dog. <laughs> now, oh, it. click on the two th- on the twenty twelve. Are you shitting me right now? No, no. <laughs> so then we got that, and then you know, we didn't get that. We get this. I was not alive yet. Thank God. Well, I'm saying we know we weren't a part of that, but that's I what exists until the, this. I got this shit. I got until the this. Heat. You know, this. I got some real nigga shit. We got the good stuff. Look yes. At, y'all didn't have Scarlett Johansson. No, we didn't. Exactly. No, we didn't. <laughs> no. You know, this is like, this is this is the Avengers that my son knows. This is the no, Avengers. This is Avengers we know. This the, is us. Well, yeah. We, I mean, I, look, I know Avengers for me isn't just the, the live action. It's always yeah, going to yeah, be yeah, the yeah. comic and, yeah, the, yeah. And, the, and the animated series. But, like, yeah, this is the Avengers that this modern day era of kids grows up knowing. And they'll never yeah. know the seventies version, and that's Thank okay because this shit was corny as fuck. <laughs> but like, look at this shit. This is one of my favorite lines. He goes, "Come on, he's all banner." Remember, he's like, "Yeah, yeah." He's like, "You don't know. I'm always angry." Yeah, I'm like what the fuck? Saw this in theaters. There was. Screams. I'm always angry. Then oh, he yeah. punches the fuck you know, the where, shit where, out where, of. The- where did you, when did you watch it? Because I saw this shit at midnight. That Same thing. I watched Why? it. I watched the night. You know, and that's what I was, the one thing I was telling you about. Um, because look, I, I know I'm weird sometimes when it comes to like watching reviews and reactions of this yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like I legit, when this movie first came out, dude, I wanted to see how everybody else's reaction was. Yeah. I went on YouTube and I looked up reactions to people in theaters reacting to these scenes. Yeah, yeah. And it just yeah, losing their fucking minds. Yeah. Yeah. This is the well, I don't know if it, like this is the first look at, time. Look at this, look at this, look at this yeah. moment. This is the iconic moment in Marvel history. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the first time. The, this movie in particular was the first time that we got anything like this in comic anything. Like this this was it. Yeah. This is a pinnacle moment. So this shit shifted everything in Hollywood, as far as how people go to movies, like these became events. Yes. When this came out. Yeah, it was, yeah, man. And, so and, and was crazy. And that's why I think, like, uh, when I say, you, think, you know, the game changed with them, it really did because, like, yeah. they they changed how movies were released. Yeah. You because know? if you think about it, like, we stopped having midnight releases a long time ago, dude. Yeah, because the demand was so high. That everybody wanted to just start watching as early as possible the day yeah. before it comes out. You know. We got to talk about that one day. It's like, just we, midnight it, movie releases. Yeah. yeah, and that was that was a big thing. the same no more. We are not even outside like that no more. Y'all got what y'all parents at 6 p.m. talking about, let's go watch this. Right? right? Now, oh, do me a favor. You bring <laughs> up. in the trenches. Uh, <laughs> the, it's the clip that says, it's Age of Ultron, uh, lifting Thor's hammer. Yeah. So this is the other thing I want to talk about when it comes to Marvel. You know, because... We there's a lot of iconic moments in Marvel. Yeah, the yeah. one we just saw with the camera awesome. panning around, you know, the Avengers finally yeah. coming together, and then you know we go to Age of Ultron where you have the scene yeah. that 
in my opinion, I think took a really long time to pay the fuck off. But uh, I get it. I get it. No, you, you brought up a good point, and we'll <laughs> talk about that point right now. But, like, we're talking about Captain America picking up the fucking hammer. Yeah. Like, that was when they we'll paid it off. Trying to pick up. Uh, yeah, and this yeah. one. But, see, now that you see what happens in, in Endgame, and then you see this one, you can tell, like, oh, well, this motherfucker well, was fake. I've, I've always said this. Um, Age of Ultron is better now yes. because of the future movies that happen later. Because yeah. everything got paid off. Like, I remember when this movie came out. Yeah. Everyone was pissed because it was like, it felt like a whole bunch of setup for this and that and that. And that was a big complaint about Marvel back then. Everything is a build up for something else. Yep. Now that we've gotten everything, this movie is fantastic. Yes, it's amazing. I mean, it's still not one of my favorites, but it's a lot better than when it came out. I remember people shitting on this movie. Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. never I never understood why they didn't like it except for this one scene. Like, I thought that was funny. He was going to try to turn into the yeah, fucking yeah. Hulk. <laughs> To lift the hammer. He's a psych. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then he goes, you know. And, I, and you know what? So rewatching it, too, I realized, like, yeah. for a moment, there, Thor even real, even was like, yo, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Like, yeah. look at him. Look at him. You know? And, and then. his face. And then. Sold it. Oh, do me a favor. Go to the next clip. It's, uh, it's Captain America actually lifting it. There we go. And then we get Endgame. Yeah. You know, Avengers Endgame coming out. And I remember the moment this happened, dude. Yeah. I, w- I was so happy to be in the theater that I was with and I had my son because when this shit happened, mm-hmm. the whole fucking theater shook. And I mean, oh, like, because yeah. we watched this one in IMAX and this is an IMAX screening where we're yeah, seeing yeah. this happen and you're watching this fight play out and you're hearing people freak out. Like, the dude next to me was actually kind of like, yo, what the fuck? Like, yeah. Thor I mean, is Thor's getting, getting his, his ass, ass beat right now. Like, what the fuck? Like, we stab. might see Thor die. Yeah, yeah. And then this happens. Bonk. You know, at the end of the... <laughs> and then you see, yeah, right? You see this happening and then... All of a sudden, you see this, and the first thing you're thinking, yeah. you can't tell me it's fucking Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for some reason, I thought Iron Man. But then when I saw Captain America, oh, yeah. my God. With I the pre- shield, though. With the yes. shield, bro. This shit was hard. Not, and not just, like, not just <laughs> kicking it up, but, like, he gives it to fucking. Yeah. My dude, can I just acknowledge Thor getting the shit kicked out of him before this yes. happened? <laughs> Look at, it, I mean, no, I'm talking about like right before he, um, Captain America hit him. The way the way Thanos <laughs> kicked him into the rock yeah. was, is forever funny to me. <laughs> like, I don't know what? why. But <laughs> like, like to, see, <laughs> see, to, see, to see Thor or to see that whole scene play out and then yeah, yeah. Captain America just giving it to fucking Thanos with the hammer. Not yeah, once. Hey, wait, bam. Like, oh, yeah. yes. The All Avengers right. Assemble scene. I still scene. got it. Oh, oh man. My shit. Look, right? He still had it, and he was still giving it to these motherfuckers. But like, shit. okay, well now let's get to the point you was gonna you was talking about earlier. This is the moment where Captain America finally says, "Avengers assemble," which for me took okay. I get Why it. Why did it take so long? I don't it, get it. It took it took too long. I think they could have. I don't know, man. I feel like that's a line they could have said. Okay, way long, but yeah. I get it because they said it at the best moment. I know, but I was I was saying like what. Other movie could that possibly have happened? In? Okay, you could have said it at the end of Age of Ultron Not really. when they created the new the new Marvel the new team of Avengers. That's for that one. I mean, remember, he, he said it off camera. <laughs> yeah, because he's all Avengers, and then it cuts. But I like that they did that. that I was, was like, tight. "Are you fucking kidding me?" But Avengers nah, Assemble it. was probably the line that everybody was like, you know, was waiting on. Yeah, yeah everybody was. A, yeah, which yeah. is this one? You know, this is the, again, this is the line. Everybody, I, and and I, I yeah. okay. One thing I love about the scene is. How they set up this camera shot, mm-hmm. you know, because you see, you see Captain America standing by himself, yeah. like the dude is ready. He, he doesn't give a shit. He's he, he'll give it. He'll wreck it. He's already wrecked. Yeah, yeah. he's already well, fucked. Cap, Cap, Cap stands on business. He was ready yeah. to die at that point. Oh yeah, no, he's down. He's that, and that's the only thing I've always liked about Captain America is like yeah, yeah. his character has always been down. If he's fighting for a good cause, he don't yeah. give a shit if he's gonna die yeah, in that character cause. Character development and shit. In my opinion, I've always felt like Captain is the man, dude. When it comes to being about his shit, like, yeah, yeah. like look at him in the scene, like, like he's he, he just got his ass handed to him, dude. Yeah, he got his he's ass kicked. Ready to rip shit, and that's what I appreciate him about him. And that's why he has that classic him. line that I love that they made fun of in this movie. He's like, I can go all day. He's like, yeah, I yeah. know, I know, I know. You can go yeah, all day. I mean, we said that to our girl before. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've said it to my, I've said it to my exes. That's real. You know, but look at this scene, dude. I mean, look at him, his shield, and yeah. that's another thing, dude. That that I love that they paid off. Because remember, yeah. the, remember in Avengers one when when Iron when Iron Man when Tony Stark had that vision of them yeah. all dying. One thing he saw was that shield broken the way it is. Yeah, it's broken. Which again, why 
Age of Ultron works better now than it did before because it was still like, what the fuck was that? Yes. Oh yeah, it was Age of Ultron, not yeah. not Avengers, not Avengers one. Yeah, Age of Ultron. Yeah, when he was having those visions and shit. Yeah. Yeah, they paid all that off. That's why I give Marvel props. Like they, their attention to detail is fucking sick. Yeah, I love it. And this, and you know what? Look, I hate to bring it up because I don't want to. I don't want to go negative, but um, I love going it, negative. It, it one of the things that <laughs> it, it really shocks me is to yeah. see knowing that Chadwick Boseman was fucking battling cancer. Filming this, yeah. this movie that's like well, intensive that on his body like, since Black Panther one. Yeah. yeah, and you're talking in between Black Panther one and that one. He he filmed Avenger. He filmed Infinity Wars. He filmed this movie. He filmed uh, fucking. There was like two other side projects that he had too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that you're like you're like damn throughout that whole time, especially in these scenes. Like yeah. he he is. He is being put through the ringer. His yeah. body is being put through the ringer. But again, and the whole time he's like he battling was, cancer. Yeah, he was dedicated to the craft, though. Man, I mean, and now he has a long-standing legacy due to this, just because he put his whole heart into that shit. Yeah, dude, yeah. and it's 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 oh man, and this shit's gonna live forever. So yeah, and 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 this is one of those scenes where you're just like, yo, and you know when this movie came out. And the, the, I think that the uh, the the mission for a lot of people became is who do we see in the background, like right there. You hey, could it was really quick. Time, yeah. It was really quick, but you didn't see it. Uh, Howard the Duck makes an appearance in yeah, this yeah. movie. Yeah. You know, a lot of older Marvel characters who you they, know they who, snuck in a lot of like. Well, you gotta like pause and shit to see it, but like, there's plenty of little Easter eggs, especially throughout this whole fucking movie. Now, yeah. uh, on the phase on on phase one, two, and three. Yeah. What was your favorite? Like Marvel film out of all of them, not uh, in or you don't have to give me a, like a list of them. Just give me no, one. Uh, Which Infinity one of them? War. Infinity War. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Infinity War was a dope one because yeah. I mean nothing will ever top that scene where yeah they're trying to save Vision and you see yeah. Thanos just rip through the Avengers. Well, like, well, it wasn't even just that. Like it's the whole build up to Infinity War. Yeah. Like, when we knew it was going to happen, like, getting to the trailer. Yeah. Watching everyone's doing everyone doing trailer reactions. And then get, finally getting to the theater and having everyone at the... Everyone was on the on point so hard that, you know how when you go to a theater sometimes you hear a baby cry? Yeah. That was the first... I was one of them. I, that was one of the first times where it was, you hear people saying, shh, to the baby. Like, like hey, yo, shut the fuck up. The kid has to get the fuck out of here right now. <laughs> we have no time for that. Right? No time for baby screaming. This is a bunch of grown ass people. Like, not today. Yeah, no, man. And nah. then, and I agree. That I mean, shit was a moment. Bro. I won't go that far to be like, yo, you gotta get your baby out of get here. The, no, get your baby the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> like, I'll talking? be like, yo, um, I'm trying to watch this shit. Yeah, you know. Nah, but either way, Infinity okay. War. You yeah, know, Infinity War is probably my favorite Marvel movie. And that period. one. Period. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah. for me, as far as out of all of them, I'll to pick one because yeah. I know, and I know it's one of your favorites too. Civil War. Yeah, yeah, Civil War, Civil War for sure, and yeah, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Winter Soldier, yeah. yeah, those two are like. I, I still go back and forth between those two. Like, I still think Civil War is amazing, but Winter Soldier is still fire. Like, yeah. I, 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 I try not to think too much about moments when it comes to these, and try to think about which one of these works better as a film. Yeah, I, like with um, if any were an Endgame, if it, Endgame is an event, huge event, lots of moments. Yeah, if Infinity War to me is a better movie. Yeah. As far as like, it had more of a story uh, to as it. As far as pacing, yeah, like the pacing alone, it you never kind of you never really get bored with Infinity War. Mm-hmm. In game, there's still some moments where it's like, all right, let's let's get to the shits. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. No, I I agree, dude. I agree. Um, and you know, one of the last things I'm gonna say is yeah. that there's there's as much as say not to focus on the moments. Mm-hmm. I, I, there's a lot of moments in this in the in the first phases of, of yeah. Marvel that and well. We're, that's what I'm saying. Like we're gonna we're gonna get to that. Like I think yeah. right around the time that Deadpool and Wolverine come out, let's do a whole breakdown of like each phase and like get we'll to do, that shit. What man. we'll do is is we'll, we'll we'll you know when they drop to the next Deadpool trailer, we'll do we'll do a review on the Deadpool yeah, trailer, yeah, yeah. and then we'll, we'll we'll start off with Deadpool, yeah, and work our way from Deadpool going forward, you know. Yeah. Because I think I think that yeah, because there's so much in the Marvel universe, we can dedicate whole episodes to just the single phases. Yeah. You know, and I was, I mean, in my opinion, I think it's just because it's probably had the most films. I think the phase three was probably the best one. Uh, yeah. But again, that's just me. You know, I mean, if we, I mean, if we, I don't know if we can do a full discussion yet or not right now, but uh, uh, phase two had the most mid. The most mid? The most mid out of all of them. Okay. I and know. I know everyone's going to say, but like, what about now? Like, 
Yeah, they're kind of on par. Yeah. <laughs> as far as like I mean, movies. I mean, I don't know, man. It's kind of like. Iron Man 2 like, was in that. Yeah. yeah. Iron Man 2 and 3. Thor 2. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like those were all Even right. Though some people go back and say, "No, Thor two is actually good." Fuck you, you're lying. No, it's not. Stop trying to change narratives. Give me your favorite scene in Thor two, and then tell me. Name a scene favorite. Not, I'm not saying you. Fact, I'm saying I was going to say I don't remember. That's I what I'm saying. Like I don't name, remember the villains. Name. name I name, know they had the red. Uh, 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 fuck that movie. They only made that movie because they needed they needed to tie an they Infinity needed Stone. <laughs> they needed to tie an Infinity and Stone to it. Part, it still did good. Like the movie yeah. did well in the box office, but yeah. it's still like. Go back to some of these movies. And actually, you know, you know which one uh, people go back to now and kind of like like more. It is Iron Man three. Really? Yeah, I've seen a lot. I remember of when that one. That. I yeah. remember when that one first came out. It got a, a lot, lot of shit hate on it. Yeah, because yeah. they were like, "Oh, it's live action version of the Incredibles." Nah, it's literally the that's same exact storyline. Black movie for for sure. I think that was what the problem was. It didn't ah, feel like a I think it was a good one. Um, <laughs> I was all right, but no. If I was to pick though, if I was to pick like a, a moment out of yeah. out of the first three phases, with the exception of everything with Captain America, yeah, I would have to say it's probably going to have to be for me the uh, the Thor cuts or the outtakes of Thor from uh, oh what was the Thor Ragnarok. Thor from Ragnarok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they were trying to explain where Thor was the yeah, whole time yeah. for Infinity Wars, it was all those little moments where he was like. And for that one, he was like this whole time he was in New Zealand, yeah, yeah, living chilling. with somebody, just Post it. yeah, posted, <laughs> you know, making that guy pay the rent for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, <laughs> he was on some G shit. I like that. Yeah, nah, yeah. Um, nah, probably my favorite moments outside of Avengers, it's probably uh, the airport fight from Civil War. Yeah, that's when you dope. first get your introduction to this Spider Man. Yeah, and it's probably <laughs> I know this is gonna sound nuts, but I, that's probably my favorite portrayal of Spider Man. Out of all the Spider Man movies that happened after, okay, easy, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you got to see him have fun, just play mm-hmm. around, yeah, yeah, you got to see him have fun, yep. fuck around, be in full Peter Parker mode, and it was like hilarious, and like you could tell that they kind of underestimated his powers, like yep. Spider Man is strong as fuck, but yep. like he kind of gets it's it, it's overlooked being when he's standing next to all of them, but like you could tell. He was beating their asses like one yeah. on like come on, bro. And then when he pulled out the Star Wars reference, yeah, he's like, yeah. "You ever seen this whole movie?" <laughs> like, like all yeah, that shit dude, was hard, bro. I saw that movie, and yeah, we never seen him beat that much ass <sighs> until like maybe like Endgame. No, nah, outside Endgame, Infinity War, maybe yeah. Far From Home. Oh no, No Way Home. Yeah, No Way Home. But yeah, this is probably like the pinnacle. Which Spider-Man okay, scene. that's the other thing I gotta say is because we, we we're gonna end right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one of the things I want to end on right now is that. The most iconic scene so far, in yeah. my opinion, like so far, including all the phases, yeah. has to be when the when they bring Andrew Garfield and uh, Tobey Maguire into the Marvel universe in Spider Man No Way Home. Yeah. Like that's got to be like, dude. Like I'm like I'm sorry, but like that was again. It was the yeah. movie I went to go see twice, two different theaters, mm-hmm. and both times the reaction. Got louder than the first one. It was one. a huge payoff. It was, dude. I still love that, but I'm still, ah, I still kind of go back. So I'm like, when you first see Iron Man get his suit in the first one, that was oh. sick. That was sick too. And, and I get that, man. But I mean, shit was like, lying. dude, even though we yeah. knew, we knew that we were possibly yeah. getting Andrew Garfield, and we knew we were definitely getting yeah, Tobey yeah. Maguire. Yeah, it was like. When it happened on screen, it yeah. was oh, like my son freaked the fuck out. My son was like. Dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, and I'm like, nah, that shit went crazy. Like, nah, that, dude. that was, that was. I mean, that's still one of them. I think even after that, my favorite scene in that movie is still all of them in their suits together. Yes, when they, yeah, that when they all fire. swing in yeah, yeah, all yeah. at once, and it's like boom, I almost boom, ran boom. Out the theater crying, bro. I was like, this dude, is the greatest and then if you notice yeah. that when they land, they all land in their own stand, yeah, their, own yeah, their yeah. own pose from each fucking movie. I'm like, yeah. oh fuck yeah. So yeah, that shit was fire. So look, we got to do a whole episode again. We're gonna do yeah, a future yeah. episode, and you know, <laughs> because we'll because there's a lot of shit like Spider Man Two. We still have to talk about Miles Morales, and then we still got to do X Men. We still, you know, we got to do something with X Men. 97 because that one's that one already dropped and yeah, yeah. I know you haven't really been keeping up with it. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I'm gonna get to it. So let's tell you what we'll do another Marvel episode when you finish uh, watching X Men 97. When X Men 97 yeah. ends this season, we'll do an episode dedicated to X Men 97 and then okay. uh, you know Spider Man because I'm pretty sure we're gonna see Spider Man at some point during X Men 97. Um, that uh, oh yeah, uh, I think Daredevil might be out by then. Nice. By the way, oh no, Daredevil. We're getting John 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 Berthman is back as a uh, Punisher. 
announced oh. that like last week. Now, I'm glad you even bring up Punisher because I'm yeah. going to give you a Punisher fun fact. Okay. Did you know Dolph Lundgren played the original uh, yeah. Punisher on the movie? Yeah. I didn't know that until I started looking up Marvel facts this last weekend. Yeah, I did not yeah, know was, that Dolph Lundgren played yeah, the original. The old, he was OG, yeah. That was fucking when. sick. I still remember the 2004 movie. What was his name, bro? We don't. We don't know. We don't want to talk about that one. All right, I like that one. What are you talking about? John Travolta was the only thing good in that movie. Okay. Yeah, the action scenes are cool. <laughs> Anyways, no, we don't. Oh, we can't talk about. Look, that. we're gonna have to end it now. Uh, okay. Punisher, Punisher Warzone is the greatest <laughs> movie of all Warzone. time. Oh no. No, Punisher Warzone. No, we're not yeah. going to end it like that. We're not going to end it like that. Punisher Warzone is oh. one of the greatest movies ever, bro. It has the Bucky. best We're going to end it like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, my bro. God. We'll talk about that shit. Yeah, later. we'll talk about it on another episode. <laughs> this was Movies in Moss. I'm your boy, Big Moss to Moss. I'm great. And shout out to our producer, ODM, because on the last oh, two yeah. episodes, they got clowns for not shouting them out. He almost died right before production started, but you know what I mean? Like, he good because yeah. he finally ate all his food. Yeah, he ate, he ate some salsa or some eggs with salsa that pretty fast. Him, and then, uh, <laughs> that started coughing the up a storm over here. Now we're going to have to give him the Heimlich. Bro, about to fuck a toilet up. <laughs> Who's Heimlich? <laughs> <laughs> the Heimlich, not Heimlich. Get behind me, Satan. Whoa. Get behind me. Whoa. What movie is that, Greg? Wait, what? Get behind me, Satan. Get behind me. No, I don't know. Born in East LA, another Latino movie you need to watch. Bro. We're, we're going to get to I'm, I'm telling sorry, you, bro. bro Which is Marine? Are you kidding me? I didn't uh, watch it. Paul Rodriguez? I don't, no, I didn't see that. You even know who Paul Rodriguez is? Yeah. I oh, was okay. born in <laughs> East LA, man. I was like, see, that's why you shouldn't have his black ass on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no, <laughs> but this is where we yeah, educate yeah. you about the Latino culture, yeah. homie. Yeah. yeah. And then hey. I got to educate y'all about all the white movies. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was waiting for him to reference Menace of Society, Boys in the Hood, Friday. Like, we done seen all that too, homie. Nah, man, I need y'all to talk about all the brilliant white directors in Hollywood. <laughs> all right, y'all. This is Movies in Mouse. We'll catch you on the next one.